Hey. Hey. <laughs> I was going to get a picture of that guy, the truck driver. He's on Canada camera. Yeah. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Not much. It's like the same angle we always do when we go to Grand Forks. Yeah, huh? pretty much. <laughs> Got your big head right in the center of the... <laughs> oh, great. Got you right on Zoom here. I can see your nose. I see your nose hair, so... There you go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So what's going on, Mike? How's it going? Uh, doing pretty good. Do you feel like we're like in a NASCAR, like in a NASCAR race? All these people, we got Jeff Gore way up above. We're like up, up behind the rear. <laughs> no pun intended there. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're going back to Grand Forks again. First time in uh, about two months. Last time we went was September 6th. Now it's November 2nd already, and, and we're going, well, we're not doing no interviews with anybody today, but we're just going just for the fun of it today. Yeah. Just because we got nothing else better to do, and we both got the day off, so, and we just want something to do, I guess. But, uh, I decided uh, I was going to start making uh, some vlogs now again. Haven't done that in a while, and since the last video that I put up here earlier this month, about, that was called Looking to the Future. <laughs> But uh, I want to personally say thank you to all the people who I've had the chance to interview uh, thus far. There will be more interviews to come, obviously. Uh, just that uh, now that I've gotten a few, not about 10 or 11 done already, I'm going to kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm not going to stop doing it. At least once or twice a month uh, from now on, I'm going to try to get at least I, some type of guest to talk to anyway, to do an interview with. Uh, as often as I can, but but also be able to do some videos as well because there's a few things coming up this month that I want to get on tape here and that I want to show you guys. So I want to thank all the people that I had the interview with, like Mick Alderman, uh, Oliver Holler, uh, Terry Doolum, Rock Tweeton, Michael Ray Bauer, David Packard, Lloyd Kaufman, Rock and Roll Buck Zumoff. <laughs> It's a lot of people. Uh, and from Butch Patrick, from, who was Eddie Munster, the Munsters, uh, and Alex Vincent, uh, who was uh, Andy in the Child's Play movies, uh, or the first two anyway. And we got an interview coming up pretty soon by a good friend, Mike Massey, who uh, has a special appearance in, uh, in the new Iron Man 3 movie that they're filming right now. That's supposed to be coming out next summer. So. Now, that interview will be probably the last interview I do for a little while um, until I can find uh, another person to, to do an interview with. But anyway, got some breaking news here of what uh, was going to be happening here at the end of this month that uh, I'm kind of surprised I didn't think I'd be able to do this again, but uh, finally uh, Mike's going to experience and his brother's going to experience something that they've never experienced ever before. Their first ever pro wrestling event at TNA Impact Live in Bemidji, Minnesota at the end of the month. Are you pretty excited there, Mike? Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I'm glad that, you know, it's going to work out where we'll be able to do this together. Yep. Kind of funny because I, I remember talking many, many times this year. It's like one thing that we got to do together before <clears throat> before I move or, or whatever uh, is go to a pro wrestling event. And I, I, I was just making that up just to see, you know, I mean, I, I really meant it, but I just thought, you know, how weird would that be if there was, like, a wrestling event coming up before, you know, we departed everything, you know? And there is, <laughs> at the end of the month, so. Anyway, so, yeah, so we get to go to see TNA Wrestling, my second time, so, you know, the title of the, the video, at that time, will probably be called The Road Back to TNA Wrestling again. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, geez, every time I do things for a second time, Mike's, it's only Mike's first time, you know? Yeah. Like when we went to Oregon, it was Mike's first time, but it was my second time, so I call it the road back to Astoria, Oregon, when it was like the first time he was a part of it. And now we'll be calling this the road back to TNA Wrestling. Uh, at this time, I'm going to try to do a little bit better with this video, uh, try to get the camera in and maybe try to get some shots. And also the pictures that I take will be a lot, will be a lot more better quality than the last time. Cause I, you guys remember, yeah, the, the quality of the, the pictures that I took the last time, because I had a Kodak camera, 
Yeah, it, it really turned out pretty shitty, and I was I was even I was pretty embarrassed. But luckily, I had a guy uh, help me out, uh, kind of clean them up as best as he could. So they were all right for the way they could be, anyway. But anyway, so we. <laughs> So we're just on our way to Grand Forks again, and just gonna just do a little shop, and nothing too exciting today. And yes, I, I do plan on on moving to Grand Forks here soon, but it just it just won't be until probably it won't be until 2013. Hopefully before summertime 2013 is what I'm hoping for anyway, because I just need the change, and and I just really hope that you know a new job will be. I mean, I know I'll be able to find something. That's for sure. Uh, just anything could be possible. Other than that, Mike, so what else is new with you? I mean, we're just driving. I know you're just trying to kind of stay on the road. And I'm just yakking away at the, at the viewers here. <laughs> well, there's really nothing a whole lot for me. Mike always has a lot of information. He's always full of talk. He likes to talk a lot, Mike does. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, don't be shy now, because I, I heard from the source that you're that you were that you're a shy person. Dude. Well, I was. You're not, not sure. the time, but okay. now it's like, I'm not anymore. Yeah, but you hardly say anything. You hardly speak. Your brother speaks more than you do, dude. I mean, it's like it's like you're the puppet, and he's the puppet master, dude. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Anyway. Mike's, Mike, you know, he, he can't, I can hardly get him to shut up sometimes, you know. It's just... Amazing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's always like, yeah, 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 yak, yak, yak. I'm just like, this is what you're doing. This is what I want you. <laughs> Where's that from? Yeah, that was from Carrie. Remember? I remember no, but what? Do you remember? The, you don't remember the movie that that was from? This is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. You never seen the movie Master of Disguise at all? With Dana Carvey? I, I think I might have. So there was, I think his grandfather was saying because he talks too much. He's like, "This is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do." <laughs> I thought that was funny. Anyway, Master of Disguise. Who who doesn't remember that movie? From Ten years ago, when it came out on DVD. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Grand Forks, have some fun, and uh, we'll let you know what what we find. Or I'm not really sure what I. I mean, I know I need to get some shoes for. That's the most important thing let alone any DVDs or Blu-rays or anything like that. If I'm lucky to find, I'm hoping maybe the Walmart will have, because the Walmart in Thief River is, it is big, it's a super center, but it's like the Walmart in Grand Forks is a lot bigger, and that is a super center, and they have more in their entertainment section than they do in Thief River. So I'm hoping to find the... Roseanne season five and season six <laughs> sets from uh, uh, Mill Creek Entertainment. If anything, I was going to look for ET as well, but I don't want to pay too much for ET. I won't pay more than probably fifteen bucks for it. So if I have to wait a little bit longer till the holidays or something. That I will. I have it on DVD, but you know, then I got to figure out what I'm going to watch it. Because right now, I'm kind of catching up on some of the stuff that I've watched, like. But I'm finally finishing up uh, season two of Boy Meets World. Finally, I'm on disc number two now, and uh, trying to finish that up. I still got one more disc to go. But anyway, we'll see what happens, and uh, we'll just let you guys know along the way. And we will see a, possibly see a movie called Wreck It Ralph today. So we'll see what happens. Say goodbye, Mike. <laughs> see you later. Oh my God, Mike! What's, what the hell is all this? <laughs> it, it's all snow. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure we're not like in the, one of the scenes in the Wreck It Ralph where they're like an ice cream land or something <laughs> like that? No. That we'll see like a big pile of Rocky Road ice cream somewhere? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, I, I trust you. You know, trust you more than I trust myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we're back. It's a little later in the evening. Uh, I would have turned the camera on earlier, but it was actually a lot worse when we were coming from Grand Forks on our way back here to. Well, we're going to Thief River now to. Uh, to do some grocery shopping because I still gotta get some groceries. I got some DVDs. I got uh, it's actually some, some Blu-rays. I got the ET Blu-ray, uh, which I'll probably show a little later, at another at a later time. If you, most people know what it looks like. I got Roseanne season five and six that I found at Target, which I was really surprised about. So now I don't have to order it online. I also got the 
what did I get? I got season two of Full House. I was a ruse ago to get that, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I did. It, it was only nine ninety nine, so rather than paying twenty bucks for it on Amazon, jeez. Uh, then I got uh, Child's Play. We were talking about Alex Vincent earlier. Well, I actually I did own a Child's Play on DVD a long time ago, but then for I think I had sold it, sold my copy or something like that, but uh, or gave it away. But I actually have. Uh, I found the Blu-ray for $4.99 at Best Buy, which I thought was pretty pretty nice, pretty cool. It's the very first Child's Play that made Alex, Alex Vincent kind of a household name, at least around that time, anyway, over 20 years ago. And then, let's see, then what else did I get? I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I got meatballs, man-sized meatballs. <laughs> uh, with uh, Bill Murray, the the uh, one with the classic uh, cover, which I like. I mean, I, I have a special edition on DVD, but now we're going to give it all the... Anything that I always get, if I get a copy of something on Blu-ray that I already have on DVD, I normally give it to this guy here, you know, for yep. just everything, for just, whether it's for payment or whether it's just because I, I, I like him and he's just a good guy and he takes good care of, you know, everything. Because he does. He, every DVD I ever... I even check, you know, at, at his house, you know, the DVD shelf. Everything's still in its case, you know? yeah. <laughs> like it's supposed to be. No discs are hanging out, all scratched up, filled with bubble gum and whatever. <laughs> and horse manure. <laughs> anyway, looks like we're gonna be looks like we're gonna be all right there, the mic, because it looks like it's clearing up. Yeah, it's kind of letting up. A little Thank bit God for that, huh? Yeah. I thought we were gonna be in the ditch or something, but it doesn't look like it really did much over here. So hopefully we'll make it home safe tonight. Anyway. We still got another 45 miles to go to get back to Greenbush, but we gotta stop at Thief River to do a little grocery shopping at the Walmart. But anyway, it's Friday, we're having a good time. What do you think of the Wreck It Ralph movie? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I think the whole movie was based on a like on Nintendo a video, game, kind of more or less. Video game, right? Yeah, video Nintendo game. game type pretty good. Would you recommend it to people? Say, go see it. Yeah. I think it just came out of theaters today, actually. So we're we wa we're watching it on its debut weekend. Yeah. And I liked it. I mean, I you know, it, it had a couple of plots that were kind of sad, you know sad here and there, but but it, it actually was pretty uh, motivated or pretty motivated anyway, because it's about a video game character, and they use other video game characters uh, from the days of the of the past anyway to make it sound pretty cool. And then if you if you watch it with surround sound, that's pretty much the only way to watch it. Uh, you get to hear some eight-bit music, <laughs> well, Nintendo music, which I thought was pretty cool. So, yes, it was a good movie, Wreck It Ralph. And I think John C. Riley is in it, and I believe Ed O'Neill. It said in the credits that he was like, I think he was the the security guard or whatever that was uh, picking. Well, I don't want to give too much away, but I think he was a security guard anyway uh, in the movie. But anyway, Wreck It Ralph was good. Today was a, a good day. Uh, maybe eventually later on I will show you all the DVDs I got, but for right now, for right now anyway, we're just probably just going to end this vlog. Sorry I didn't really show a whole lot for the theater and stuff like that, but, you know, it just, I don't want to give much away, you know. You, you want to go see the movie Wreck-It Ralph, you go see it in theaters like we did. But anyway, I'm Frank Sawson, good old Mike, Michael Skulski here of Skulski Electric or whatever. <laughs> Which is like right over here. It says Skulski Electric. <laughs> you know the sign that says Skulski Electric? Yeah. Yeah. I just said your name right in front of it, more yep. or less. I thought that was a good pun. <laughs> I thought was. that was very punny, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so. Alright, so you guys have a good one. And the next interview that you will see will be with my friend Mike Massey, who has a small role in, in the movie Iron Man 3, which is currently being filmed right now. So, hope you guys tune in for that interview. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.